So I did mine on why you should donate blood. I felt it was a very relevant topic for me because recently, in the last two weeks, I had to get two blood, two platelet transfusions because I got sick and I had low blood platelets. So what better than to talk about this? And did you guys know that giving blood is very, very easy, safe, and has extreme benefits while taking only about an hour to go through? I'm going to talk about basically five topics. The need for donors, who can donate and how to go about it, <coughs> reasons why people need to donate, the reason why people need transfusions, and the benefits of receiving transfusions, and lastly, local blood donation facilities near us here at ASU. So the need, the need is very real. Basically every two seconds somebody needs a blood transfusion. 41,000 donations are done daily. Um, uh, normal red, red blood cell transfusion gives about three pints of blood, and a single car accident victim could use up to 100 pints at one time, which is a lot. Type, type O blood is the most requested blood type by doctors. Um, sickle cell disease affects 70,000 people in the United States, cancer about 1.6 million, and all those people need transfusions more than once, basically, so there's a large number of needed people. And um, there's about 15.7 million donations a year, but only 9.2 9 million people are doing it, so more people should be doing it. And only 38% only of the U.S. population is normally eligible, and at that 38%, only 10% donate. So a lot more people can be doing what, they, what we're doing right now. And I got this information from the Learn About Blood and Facts statistics from the Red Blood, the Red Cross Blood.org. Who can donate? Any person with general good health <coughs> that is 17 years old and weighs at least 110 pounds is eligible to donate. And there's four types of donations. You could donate whole, whole, blood, whole blood, which is a normal, normal donation people give, which you could do every 56 days. You can give a double red cell count, which you can only do once every 112 days. And then the plasma donations can be done more at uh, every 28 days, but no more than 13 times a year. And the platelets can be done every, every week, but only 24 times a year. And I got that from the USCFHealth.org. How to go about donating, you need to go properly hydrated and with a meal inside of you so you don't faint. You need to go and relax and comfortably because there are doctors and nurses there that know what they're doing that take care of you properly. You need to bring your ID to get certified or your donor card once you've already donated. You need to register with the doctors when you first arrive and they just ask you basic questions like if you've had a tattoo within a year and you can't donate or if you've had um, Male to male sex, they don't let you donate, or if you've used needle drugs and some other things like that, they won't let you. Um, after that, you just receive a small physical. They test your temperature, blood pressure, and hemoglobin levels to make sure that you're allowed to, that you're healthy enough to donate. And I got that from the Red, Red, Red Cross Blood.org donation section. The reasons why people need to have transfusions one, is because they receive surgeries and they lose a lot of blood during them. One third of all heart surgery patients need transfusions after. Also, serious injuries such as car accidents, natural disasters, and war victims, war, war victims will need to get transfusions from loss of blood. Also, illnesses that cause anemia, such as kidney disease and all cancers. And um, leading disorders, hemophilia and thrombocytopenia, which is the one that I had due to uh, medicine that I was taking, de destroying my blood cells. And I got that stuff from medicinenet.com. There's many benefits of people receiving blood transfusions, such as it increases low hemoglobin levels, and when you have low hemoglobin levels, it can damage your vital organs, which can itself kill you. Also, it helps stop bleeding with inside your body if your platelets are low and then you just start forming petechiae all over your body, which is bruising, blood blisters, that just form out of nowhere. And that's, that's a big problem that you can bleed out internally and in your brain. It keeps your, keeps your heart pumping because when you have low blood levels and low, low blood pressure, it slows down circulation to your heart and it can cause severe problems for you. Also, some other benefits there are, it, 
helps serious blood infections. You take out the bad blood, put in new blood, it keeps you running. Also, any blood disorders, like I spoke of sickle cell and some other ones that I'm not gonna even try to pronounce, it, it, it helps cure those things. Um, when you have uh, red blood cell and platelet transfusions for bone marrow problems, it, uh, it takes care of Fix, it takes care of your bone marrow, basically. And I got this information from the bloodcenter.stanford.edu blog. So some of the locations by us, this is just a few, but a lot of them. Shepherd of the Hills United Church of Christ. The Chandler Gilbert Family YMCA facility. Here at Arizona State Nursing School, which I think is on the other campus. Um, the ADSA University of Phoenix. Hilton Phoenix Chandler Center. I got this from the redcrossblood.org give drive search section. Um, basically, in conclusion, everybody knows that they're allowed to donate blood, but not many people know reasons why people need them and the, 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 the severe need for blood donations. And like I showed you, the need for the donors. Find out if you're eligible that you should. The reasons are real and people always need our help as long as there's diseases around and injuries. Also, now you guys know where the close places around us are so there's no excuses of not knowing how to give the blood and where to go. It's a very simple task to do. It doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't, it doesn't affect you as a person by giving the blood and you, save, you can save up to a thousand lives in your, in your lifetime with the amount of times you're allowed to donate on a yearly basis. Uh, in closing, at any given moment, you may be the person that needs to receive a blood donation. So just think about that, and maybe it'll change your mind about not giving blood because you can go to a hospital one day in the middle of nowhere that got no donors, and you can't receive your blood transfusion, and you'll be on your deathbed. That's it. And those are my websites. Comments for Mike.